Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1575, count all possible roots. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a locations array and the index represents the cities and assume the values for each city as cost, right? Then we are given the starting position and the finishing position. So we need to start from one and whenever we hit zero, we have to count that as 1. That is, we will start from city 1 and we will be trying to go to the 0, right? We will try to go to the 0th city. So, we need to find all possible combinations, that is, all possible routes that will take me to 1 to 0. We have to go from 1 to 0 using the fuel given. Also, we can repeat the cities until my fuel gets over. We can form a structure like this, right? We can repeat the cities until my fuel gets over. So here, whenever I reach zero, it will be counted as one. So here I will reach two times. So we will be counting it as two, right? So this is very important that we can repeat the cities, right? So we are going to solve this problem using depth first search approach, right? We are going to use DFS. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially I'm going to send my starting position and the fuel that is remaining right the fuel that is remaining is six initially right so we are sending this to the dfs function so here current becomes one and the remaining fuel is six then i will be writing a loop where i will start from the zeroth index to the total number of cities that is three here so we are going to write a loop from zero to three right so first the next location will be starting from zero so initially i need to check whether the next location and the current location is equal so here they are not equal so we will do the next steps right if it is equal i will pick the next city from the loop right so now we need to calculate the cost of travel between city one to city zero so we need to take a difference between the values of city one and zero right we need to take the absolute difference so absolute difference between 4 and 3, right? It is going to be 1. So now we are traveling from 1 to 0. So we need to take absolute difference between the two cities. So we are getting 1 here. After traveling, I need to reduce my fuel. So fuel becomes 5, right? So the travel between 0 and 1 was 1. And we need to reduce the fuel cost by 1 in my current fuel. That is 6, right? So we need to reduce 1. So we are getting 5. This is my remaining fuel. So now I will do DFS on 0. And I will use the remaining fuel 5. So I will send this to my DFS function. So current becomes 0. And remaining fuel becomes 5. So we are going from 1 to 0. Right. So now we are at the finish point. So here I will be writing another condition. If my current is equal to the finish. If this is equal, I will count it as 1. So here I am drawing the graph. So here we have reached the finish point, right? Finish city, right? So we need to count this as 1. So we should not stop after reaching the end city. We can continue. That is the important thing in this problem. We don't have to stop after reaching the end city. We can repeat the process until my fuel gets over, right? So again, I will start from 0 to 3. I will pick 0 at the start. Since 0 is equal to my current city, we will pick the next city, 1. So now I need to take absolute difference between 0 and 1 again. So it's going to be 1. I need to reduce this difference with the current fuel. So we are going to get 4 as my remaining fuel. So I will send 1 and 4 to my DFS function again. So here, current becomes 1. The remaining fuel becomes 4 and here in the graph I'm updating so again we are going to get 0 and this is going to repeat until my fuel gets over that is when my fuel gets negative I have to stop so here we have reached 0 three times right totally here we have reached three times so we will count as 3 when our fuel gets over we have to return to the starting position 1 right so at the start we sent 1 and 6 and we picked 0 so now we need to pick 1 right since the current city 1 
and the next city is 1 as well so it is not possible so we pick the next city 2 so it is very important to note that we are doing recursion here so we are back at the initial point where we sent 1 and 6 as the start right then we need to take absolute difference between city 1 and city 2 that is current city and the next city so here we are going to get 2 and we will reduce the current fuel by 2 so we are going to get 4 so we need to send the city 2 and 4 to my dfs function so here current becomes 2 and current remaining fuel becomes 4 and i am updating the graph here so now i need to pick the next location as 0 so now we need to take absolute difference between the 0th city and the 2nd city so we are going to get 3 right so we need to take difference between 4 and 3 that is the current remaining fuel and the cost of the travel between 0 and 2 so we are going to get 1 so we will send 1 and the current city 0 to my dfs function and i'm updating my graph here so we could see that right we have reached the end point here end city so we need to increase our count by 1 so if we keep on repeating this we are going to have 5 at the end right that's how the logic is now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm going to send my start and fuel in my dfs function so initially inside the dfs function i will be writing if conditions that first i need to check whether i have the fuel or not if the remaining fuel is negative i need to return zero else i will check whether the current pointer is pointing to my finish city right if we have reached the finish city we have to make our result as one else i will make my result as zero initially right then i will write the for loop where i will pick the next locations between zero and the length of the locations right then i need to check whether my current location is equal to the next location if it is not equal i will continue to calculate the cost between the two locations right by taking the absolute difference between them then i will send the next location and the remaining fuel so the remaining fuel will be calculated by taking the difference between the cost taken for the current travel then we will be adding the total number of times we have reached the finish by adding that to the result finally we will be returning the result so the reason why we are doing modulo is that is for the large answers right so that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys